on today's show, I'm going to talk about my current favorite combination in the game of Football Manager. I will also share with you results of a crazy simulation where they play together like best friends. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. I'm normally not one to talk about the best role. I've always spoken about how roles need to work together in order for you to create unique combinations. So lately, I've been playing with this combination that has, uh, you know, ignited my imagination. And it's certainly very exciting to watch. What I want to do is I want to explain what each role does in this combination. It's the combination that features the fullback, the Mazala, and the advance forward. What I'm going to do is explain each role first and then how they combine to create certain transition events that I absolutely adore. The Mazala is one of the more creative roles in Football Manager. It's not a playmaker, but it's been one of my go-to roles for quite some time. If you recall, one of the best tactics I created on FM19 was actually Liquid. Uh, it was a fantastic system that depended on the Mazala's uh, propensity to move into the hard spaces to create these third man runs that the AI couldn't deal with. In the end, um, it became a staple role that I used in quite a lot of my formations. In FM22, there are plenty of great roles. The inverted wingback is a fantastic role. The central midfielder on attack makes these third man runs into the box. You know, he comes in unmarked. That's a great role too. Uh, up front, we've got the advance forward. We've got the poacher. On the flanks, we've got the white argument. A lot of these roles are actually very, very good. It's just how you combine them with other roles that give them that little zip that we want in our tactics. And the Mazala is no different. Mazalas are creative central midfielders. They look to make chances for the rest of their teammates. They operate in the half spaces. And if you find the right player, you can create wide overloads. There's no such thing as a magical role. Every role needs the right kind of player. So Mazalas are no different. You know, you need to find players who are good first touch, balance, composure, passing, decisions, and vision. Now, there are two players that I turn to whenever I'm looking for Mazalas. And these are probably good examples that you can find in the game. One of them is Matteo Pessina and the other player is Fabian. They play for Napoli. Now, both players have got great attributes and they play this role rather well. There are two areas on the pitch where Mazalas can be very dangerous. One is the central midfield area and the other one is in the opponent's final third. In central midfield, they can play dangerous balls that seek out other roles. Here is where hit early crosses can be very handy. You want to encourage players who are Mazalas. If you're playing in a mid block, this is a perfect setup. You want to use hit early crosses because those Mazalas, they will look up and they will look for players who are trying to break defensive lines. If you're using a Mazala on attack, then it will look to create these kind of chances higher up the pitch in the half spaces in the final third. Much like how Kevin De Bruyne does this in real life for Manchester City, the only catch is going to be harder to pull off because you need to take advantage of the wide overload by dragging players to one side of the pitch so that you create space on the opposite flank where players can attack that space and maybe drive home and assist that leads to a goal. So in these Mazala setups, it's important to understand the difference between camping in the opponent's half and playing a mid-block. When you're camping in the opponent's half, you're playing with a high line of engagement, much higher defensive line. So it's much harder because you need to move that team around. Most of them are back defending. So it's usually you need really good players. Otherwise, you're so high up the pitch, you're vulnerable to the counter-attack. The other option, of course, is to do a mid block where you let that team come out to midfield and then you snap, you win the ball in midfield and then you hit the early cross and before they can settle into a defensive shape, you score your goal. So this is where Mazalas can be dangerous. Both setups can work. One is easier, the other one is harder. The fullback is my favourite role if I want passing to be less risky. Now, it doesn't bomb down the flanks as aggressively as a wingback. And if it finds it hard to beat a player and there's a role in close support, 
it will play a pass to the role that's supporting it and then the fullback will continue down the flanks and make himself available for the return pass. And since the Mazala likes to go to the half spaces, you don't really need a focus play down the left instruction to get players closer to the fullback. You have a role there ready and willing to assist the fullback. And this turns this pair into a bit of a crossing monster. Now, I am very certain I'm not the only one who has played with a fullback and a Mazala. I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who've got your own favorite combinations that you absolutely adore. I want you to share your combinations with me in the comments below. And maybe we could spark another great tactic and we could share it with the world. Now we need to take advantage of this pair. This is where the advance forward comes in. Since we're using hit early crosses and what we really want is a Mazala playing in a mid block, we want to take advantage of the fact that we're drawing the opposition up the pitch. When this happens, the Mazala will look to release players that are attacking the defensive line. And one of the best roles of doing this, and it's also a focal point for attacks, is the advance forward. I love the interaction between the fullback Mazala and the advance forward. And you can use this combination in various formations. Most notably, the 4-1-3-2, the 4-3-1-2, the 4-3-3 DM, and the 4-4-2 Diamond. So I kind of created a tactic which is a bit aggressive. I mean, this a bit is a bit of an understatement here. Uh, fullbacks on attack with an overlap. <laughs> Focus play down the left and right, which you don't really need in 4-3-1-2. And then um, extremely high tempo play out defense with the hit, the early cross. The only one that I you know suggest that you use in the video. And then we've got distribute the fullback, counter press and counter. At the back, we've got forcing the opposition inside instead of outside because we have more players in the center of the pitch. Why would I want them to go down the flanks where there's only one fullback? And then prevent short goalkeeper distribution, which honestly, I probably wouldn't play if I was playing against the AI. And then a trigger press or more often. I ran this simulation in a league. The total tactics tester puts one team in four custom leagues. The whole idea is to give it different kinds of competition to see how the tactic will do. So this rather eccentric attacking system, I mean, okay, it beat this league, the elite league is where a lot of the top sides are. And so it won the elite league. Now I'm not jumping up and down going hallelujah, I've created a great tactic here because this is simply an experiment. And uh, in a league where all the teams are kind of at the same standard, it finished second, a GD of only 29. No, I normally aim for 40 in this league. And then in the balanced teams league, again, they finish second, which is kind of good because this is a meant to be a reflection of a balanced league across Europe where you have two teams that might win the title and a few teams that might go down and a lot of teams that are stuck in the middle. So they finished second. Again, I probably would have aimed for a 40 GD and I only got 34. So nah, this is okay. This is so, so the tactic. And then uh, underdogs, of course, this is where I know the tactic has got a flaw. Um, it finished uh, third when the real target should be first. What I was more interested to find out were the kind of goals that we scored. Here's an example of the interaction between the fullback and the Mazala where they work together uh, creating a crossing monster um, that provides opportunities for the strikers in the area. I like the interaction between the fullback and the Mazala to create opportunities. Here they work with the advance forward. The fullback gets around the defender, plays it back to the advance forward. The advance forward runs wide, holds up the ball, plays it in for the attacking playmaker who finishes the move. This is perhaps one of the best moves. Now notice where the two advance forwards are. What they're going to do to the two central defenders? They're going to pull both central defenders out of position. Now, the first, the advance forward picks this ball up. He's ready to pull one. The fullback receives the ball. The advance forward goes in, <laughs> creates space for himself, and then finishes the move. I'm certain that this isn't the best combination out there, and you probably have some that are even better. And I want to know about those combinations, so let me know in the comments below. Once again, if you are interested in testing your tactics out, please visit the Total Tactics Discord. Uh, it's a fantastic growing community where they are actually competing with one another to create tactics and the discussions are very interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show and you found it useful or at least it, you know, gave you an idea of what you might want to try next. Meanwhile, you guys stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.